in the past year, we have also learned as a people that we can work together to fight corruption. Now people accused of serious economic crimes are no longer being able to claim that their personal challenge should be seen as representing their entire ethnic group. Thanks to our politics of unity, now alleged criminals have nowhere to hide, and as should be, they carry their own cross. Building on this momentum, we will in 2019 continue to work hard to investigate and prosecute cases. At the same time, we will take steps to reform our policies and public financial management systems in order to remove any loopholes that wayward characters attempt to exploit. In addition, my administration will enhance the work of the Asset Recovery Agency to ensure that we aggressively seek court orders to freeze and conf conf confiscate assets such as bank accounts, vehicles, and real estate. Individuals charged with corruption offenses will not be allowed to flaunt their ill-gotten wealth as court proceedings are ongoing. Once the suspects are convicted, the assets will be transferred to the Criminal Asset Recovery Fund, ready for use to finance projects and programs that will improve the lives of Kenyans. To win this war against corruption requires all of us to work together as a people in appreciation of the fact that corruption is our common enemy. In this respect, I urge every Kenyan to reject bribery. And those who try to buy our favor through the use of monies gained from fraud we should also, as a government, as a people, and in the spirit of one government, ensure that all arms of government have to commit to work together against this enemy of development.